this is Kim Speedy from 10 Sigma and welcome to episode 27 of Transition Tuesday. Today I'm going to be talking about transition for students with multiple disabilities. Right now I'm going to switch over to a short slide presentation to share this information. Transition for students with multiple disabilities. Skills, supports, modifications, and accommodations. According to IDEA 2004, the multiple disabilities definition means concomitant impairments such as mental retardation and blindness or mental retardation and orthopedic impairment, the combination of which causes such severe educational needs that they cannot be accommodated in the special education program solely for one of the impairments. Multiple disabilities does not include deaf blindness. When working with students with multiple disabilities, it is important to carefully select inclusion options, supports, accommodations, modifications to address the student's strengths, challenges, and experiences. In doing so, this means that students with disabilities have what they need to access instruction and then are able to demonstrate what they've learned. Let's look further into each one of these considerations, assessments, skills, inclusion options, supports, accommodations, and modifications. In order to determine the transition skills and students' current level of functioning, appropriate assessment should be administered covering daily living skills such as money management and housekeeping, educational planning skills, job seeking and maintenance skills, self-determination such as advocating skills, and social and communication skills. If the student has limited verbal skills or is nonverbal, consider using the multi-handicapped assessment by John Zabornik, along with adding a variety of feedback from other teachers and outside agencies that know the student and parents. The multi-handicapped assessment will be included in today's bonuses. Another consideration when working with students with multiple disabilities are the inclusion options. There are five main options. The first one is unadapted participation in the general education curriculum. The student completes activities written for general education with the same objectives and setting. The second one is adaptations to the general education curriculum, which means the student completes adapted curriculum they have the same activities and are in the same setting as the general education, but they have different related objectives. The third option is embedded skills within the general education curriculum. The student completes similar curriculum. They have similar activities, but different related objectives in the same setting. The fourth option is functional curriculum in the general education classroom. The student completes different curriculum with different activities and different but related objectives, but they are in the same setting as a general education. And the last inclusion option is functional curriculum out of the general ed classroom. The student completes different curriculum with different activities and objectives in a different setting. Choosing supports, modifications, and accommodations. When it comes to supports, modifications, and accommodations for students with multiple disabilities, there is not a one method fits all answer. Decisions are made on an individual basis. Considerable variability exists in what accommodations and modifications are used from state to state and even from district to district and school to school within a district. Considerations in determining what supports to use. Collaborative teaming. Team members working together to reach mutual student goals. This can be different from a multidisciplinary team where often professionals work individual of each other in their area of expertise. The second one is assistive technology. Products that increase the student's functional skills, such as low and high tech technology, and augmentative and alliteration communication devices. Peer supports. This would be students without disabilities working and or socializing with the student with multiple disabilities. Inclusive settings. 
a variety of options for inclusions in the general education setting, which we just went over previously. Paraprofessionals, they can support in general education as well as special education settings. And homeschool collaboration, school and family members work together to provide effective instruction for the student. Also when working with students with multiple disabilities, it's important to consider what accommodations and modifications to use. There are four main accommodation groups. Presentation, where you could read aloud, repeat directions, use large print, or assistive technology. There's accommodations in response, such as pointing assistive technology, verbal instead of written responses. In setting, there could be special seating or lighting. The student could be in a separate room or use a study carol. And timing and scheduling. The student could have extended time or frequent breaks. For modifications, there can be alternate books or formats used. Questions could be reworded or there could be a related activity. There also could be different expectations and or objectives for the student such as the assignment being lessened or changed. For today's bonus, I'll be sending you four resources. Go the Extra Mile with Nonverbal Students, which is an assessment by John Zabornik. The Life Skills Inventory from Washington State Department of Social and Health Services. Including Students with Multiple and Severe Disabilities in the General Education Classroom by Jennifer Bolle from the Vanderbilt Kennedy Center. This is a great resource on the different inclusion models. And curriculum modification and adaptations, downloaded from SPAN's Parent Training and Information Center. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you use this information to help your students with multiple disabilities make a successful transition to adult life. Please be sure to check your email for the bonus we just sent over. If this is the first time you've ever seen an episode of Transition Tuesday, click the link below to receive the bonus. Remember to like and share the video and leave your comments and suggestions for a future topic of Transition Tuesday. Have a great week. See you next Tuesday.